Hi there, I'm Mia Malika Henderson, and I'm here with Governor Rick Snyder of Michigan. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you ran on the campaign slogan, uh, One Tough Nerd. What would yeah. you think a good slogan for Mitt Romney would be? Oh, I don't know. He's got a great background, though. We have a lot of similarities. The private sector experience he's got, and then experience being the chief executive of Massachusetts. So in many respects, I wouldn't call him a nerd necessarily. I'd leave that for him to make that call. But he's got a great background in terms of bringing those same kind of skill sets to bear, which are the issues we need. Yep. Washington's a mess. What do you think he needs to do? He's got this big campaign uh, speech uh, that he's got to make on Thursday. What does he need to do? Yeah, well, again, he's running a good campaign, so I don't want to second guess that at all. In terms of looking at what I would encourage him to do in a positive way, and he understands that, I believe, very well, is get a positive message out there. And the topics that I found in Michigan that really resonate with our citizens, our customers, is the need for more and better jobs in a future for our kids. And that's what people really care about. And to really stay focused on that, he's done it so far, but I just reinforced that message for him. Michigan, of course, this was a state that Barack Obama won in 2008 by double digits. What does Mitt Romney have to do to flip uh, Michigan uh, to the red column? Yeah, well, I think we're, we should be considered a top-tier battleground state, if you look at it, because in 2010, um, the Republicans swept the ballot, pretty much, in terms of the statewide ballot. So it shows the state can go both ways. And again, it's not about being partisan. It's really about job creation and a future for our kids. And by staying on that message, being clear on it, um, if you look at Michigan, we're a great role model for what Washington needs to do. Um, we were a mess. We're at the bottom of the 50 states, and we're the comeback state now. And we've dealt with issues like redoing our tax system, balancing our budget, paying down our long-term liabilities, the very same issues. So in many respects, by looking at Michigan, I think it's a good role model for what D.C. needs to do, and I hope Governor Romney is looking hard at it. And how would you advise Mitt Romney, the auto bailout situation there, and obviously Democrats are framing that as yeah. a win for them. Mitt Romney had a different uh, approach to the auto bailout. How does he talk about that in Michigan? Sure. Uh, I've said this. Uh, he shouldn't spend a lot of time on it. He should simply say, you know, it's great it worked out. People have jobs. There are other ways to do it. That's history. Now I'm here to tell you how I'm going to help create more and better jobs for the future and a future for our kids. I wouldn't spend a lot of time on it because, it's again, people are looking for the future. We've improved a lot in Michigan. We had 14% unemployment back in 2009. Um, we're at 9% now, but that's not good enough. But giant improvement, but people still want to hear what's going to be the future round of creating an environment for job creation. Because again, government doesn't create jobs, we create an environment for jobs to flourish. And in terms of expanding the base of the party, mm -hmm. I mean, there are all of these demographic shifts that are going on in the country, Latinos, African Americans. Yeah. How does your party address that? Uh, sticking on this message and doing it in a very open, positive way. I mean, I'm very proud, if I go back to 2010, I won with 58, 59 percent of the vote in a state, as you said, would typically be considered probably more Democratic than Republican. It wasn't about partisanship. It was about bringing Michiganders together to focus on the topics of jobs and kids and stay laser focused on that, deliver on that. That's an exciting future because our citizens are a customer. We're a customer service business. We just need to show them great results and take care of our customer in a smart way. Great. Governor Snyder, thanks so much for joining me, and uh, maybe you'll come back on the couch with us. Oh, it was great to be with you. Great. Thank you. Thanks so much.